Recently, there's been a bit of a palaver at Tower Defense Simulator headquarters. Well, palaver being polite in terms of saying some people are pushing at the developer's button, shall we say. I'm not going to get too much into the details, but uh, Spectin, who I know as Spectin, at least he might go, he goes dog day on different on discord but i, I know it's spectin so hi spectin uh he reiterated he made an announcement after something was leaked i'll get to that later where he, he reminded everyone that if you exploit to reveal content in the game that isn't readily available to the public still assets or just leak unreleased features you'll be banned from the tds discord and tds game additionally spreading leaks so the leaks mentioned will result in you getting banned from the tds discord and in some cases the game as well this has always been our policy on the matter however i thought it would be best reiterated to resolve any misconceptions now, put this bluntly, if you leak content that isn't, say, easily, readily available to the public, then you are going to get banned. What do I mean by this? Well, for example, I do believe I'm allowed to talk about this now, uh, developers, uh, yeah, you are free to shut me down. Uh, an example of this was The Awakened Fallen King. Back in the day, uh, it was leaked by a developer, I believe. For like, I don't, know, I don't know how. I don't actually remember. I wasn't there. The developer leaked The Awakened Fallen King. No, actually, no, it was an admin. No, it was a community manager. It was a, it was a community manager who leaked The Awakened Fallen King. And from there, people started speculating about it. And people actually started digging into the game files to find the original Awakened Fallen King model. Now, that caused a bit of a palaver in the sense that I do believe the developer thought they had to change the model because, well, if things get leaked, things have to change because it's going to be old news people are going to think well it's just like an old model i mean th that those things naturally happen anyway because like i don't know if you don't know but like the hacker tower from like 2020 that's obviously going to change 2020 that's going to change it's like it's go it was going to happen anyway because it wasn't going to get released in the near future but doing so probably just makes it kind of worse it just kind of delays it further and further but also technically speaking it is leaking trade secrets and technically that is illegal but what counts as stealing assets well that's like obviously exploiting right so for example again people exploited the fact that the the engineer was released into the game's code back in uh, i don't know when i think it was about the overall update it was leaked then and people exploited the code to get to get uh, like early versions of the engineer which aren't meant to be publicly available and therefore they leaked like old animations of it back in the day these were all replaced because obviously they were going to be replaced if they were leaked but because they were exploited that just confirms well yeah we're gonna have to change everything about it and it came a level four tower instead of i can't i can't say too much because i did actually test the engineer but i don't okay it I don't think it originally was meant to be a hardcore tower but then it was changed to definitely be a hardcore tower uh but then leak unreleased features now, see, the thing is, there is a test that I like to do where can the public availably see it? Now, I, I will say I have knowledge of other things not into the games that isn't public knowledge. However, I never speak about it. And if I do have prior knowledge of it, oftentimes I'd make a judgment call on whether it is publicly available uh, through, I want to say legal means, but for example, if it was like a bug that leaked it and it, and it was like, a bug that was like well known for example the imposter enemy or the arrow enemy being leaked into the quests that was kind of widespread enough that i thought okay that's that's publicly available knowledge enough that there's no point trying to hide it you might as well talk about it but then also for example the sixth tower slot which is a sixth tower slot by the way i've had some people say well actually it's a fifth tower slot with two a bit no it literally says tower six that's a sixth tower slot i didn't find that myself menton found it the wiki editor he has no prior knowledge of any of the things that is being tested on tower defense simulator i do so i refrain from talking about stuff like that and i get advice well i don't get advice from other people sometimes i get advice from the developers if i can talk about it or not but it's mostly what other people are saying not myself now to be be very clear i've not been testing tower defense simulator for probably at least a year for reasons, the reasons are that I've been extremely busy. I'm not going to say why I'm busy, it's just I'm busy, you know. I, uh, if you know, you know. So I've actually not had a chance kind of to test some things out. I've told the developers about bugs and stuff, and I do know a bit about what's being tested, but I, other than that, I don't know, no, and there's no chance of me leaking it because... Well, unless you hack my mind, you're not. It's not going to be leaked, is it? I don't have like any recordings of anything that's illegal, so don't bother pestering me. Uh, like other things that are, that would be leaked, uh, that would be kind of illegal, would be 
like admin stickers like admin stickers they're they're they're, they're in the game yes but until a developer actually leaks it to the public purposefully so it's not like oh well a developer leaked it in the corner of wherever and it was an accident and he's told everyone don't tell anyone else that's not a leak that you should be talking about but what is new kind of is the fact that for the first time they've actually said you'll be banned from the tds game if you're caught exploiting now i believe the ban system was implemented about a year ago before that all the developers could do was do a data wipe and from what i understand only two data wipes have happened before the ban system was implemented i don't know how many people have been banned per se i think there's been a couple of bans mostly of people abusing the plushy codes but i don't think there have been that many bans to my knowledge for extreme rule bait breaking exploiting using macros being tracked by the game because you're not playing the game correctly and using exploits i mean that is the reason that was kind of the reason why it was added to prevent people lazily grinding out coins but for the first time ever it's being stated if you exploit to reveal content or to leak content not available to the public you are going to get banned additionally spreading leaks will get you banned from the game i assume that's if you're like a contributor to it so i don't know i'd imagine youtubers might get into trouble if they talk about stuff that they're not meant to be talking about so if in doubt ask the a community manager or a developer if it's allowed some people said will you get banned if 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 you didn't even know uh yes actually you might because if you if it's if it seems that credible enough that it looks credible enough that it looks like a leak but you know you shouldn't it shouldn't be a leak because it's not from like an official source or the developers have said okay well told me it's okay you can talk about it then it's not a leak it could it's probably a fake but if it isn't actually you'll probably get into trouble for it i mean to be fair it's been because of how it spreads it's been a policy on the wiki for a while so because, because the wiki is like a bastion of knowledge people obviously just post things on like discussions and stuff stuff to spread stuff but it's always been a policy on the wiki that if there have been any leaking classified information is an instant like for example leaking on what might be the next update is an instant block while like on, on the wiki we've what side of policy of you don't leak what restricted towers do even though if it's common knowledge like for example the void miner that's because the developers have said okay we don't want it to be public knowledge what it does but you can talk about it personally on your own channel so i can talk about what the void miner does it does corruption and it used to allow people to beat the hidden wave and like say beginners mode, but it cannot be on the wiki because the wiki is a bastion of knowledge that people just go to and there are some things that the developers kind of don't want the people to know but they it's in it's in public knowledge anyway that i can talk about it on my own channel but it just can't be a permanent record on an encyclopedia a uh, exploiting leaks has always been a permanent block if you leaked, I don't know, the Suck Suckatron 2025, then you're going to get a ban. That's not attached to actual tower. If you actually think that's an actual tower, then uh, have I got news for you? But I guess this also applies to Nitro Boosters. I don't know how much I can say about it, but the Nitro Boosters channel on Discord has been a bit, shall we say, quiet because people have been illegally leaking stuff from it and again developers do not like that and that's why they kind of just can the whole thing but despite this i think there's still a healthy number of boosts yeah 1765 boosts i don't know any discord server that has that many boosts so clearly developers don't need to have incentivized early leak do they even get a benefit from boosts i don't really know i don't yeah whatever but yeah illegally leaking stuff no bueno if in doubt you're leaking and don't do it the developers have said so i'm not one to enforce i try to make sure everything i'm saying is a-okay obviously if the developers come to me and say look listen what you did no then the video's gonna be taken down i think that's happened about three four five times three to five times i don't remember it's i mean considering that i've been here for what five years but once a year is, I think, okay, given the depth of knowledge I have on this game. But, I mean, people violate that rule right, on a daily basis, so, yeah. So, whatever you do, whatever you do, right? Don't do a GTA 6 and leak the game files. Otherwise, you will get banned from the game. Well, to be fair, do you think leakers really care if they get banned? Actually, they probably do. At least if their main account is banned, because then the stuff on Discord is... Basically, it's just a lesson of shut the fuck up if you have any knowledge, yeah? Just don't... Tell anyone. Keep it quiet. Okay, thanks. Bye.